G'day guys, welcome to Fuse TV. I'm Nick. I'm Alec. And I'm Zoe. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now before we start the video, we have a pretty fun surprise. So Bronwyn Rogers and Alec were watching The Voice one night. And Alec made a comment about Guy Sebastian's suit saying oh, he no. wants a pink suit. And Robin Rogers has made that happen. So for the remainder of this video, he will be wearing a pink suit. <laughs> <Big star. laughs> Introducing our game show host, Alec Cameron. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Rogers for giving me this awesome get up. Um, I have one request from her though, and that would be to let Guy Sebastian know that I think, quite frankly, I wore it better. <laughs> not not to boast too much, but yeah. <laughs> Today we'll be doing a version of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Clearly, I am the game host. So how it will work is I'll be reading out the questions, and then my two contestants will be writing down their answers on a piece of paper. Uh, whoever has the most correct answers at the end will win and there will be a punishment for the loser. Who's the loser? Okay, yeah. The and then Nick, second loser. Who's the loser? <laughs> All right, so our first question is, which country makes the most coffee? I don't know. You have to make an answer. I know it, but I don't know it. Okay. You know? Coffee? <laughs> Country. Oh, I, I know it, but it's like. Do you actually know it? Yeah, it's, country. It's like blank. Two. Did he get one, it? Zero answers. Oh. Brazil, <laughs> Oku. <laughs> That's not fair if it's one of those. Which one? Brazil. <laughs> yeah. So, Zoe, what's your answer? I did Italy. <laughs> Alright, so Zoe is wrong, and after careful inspection, we have decided Nick is right with Except Brazil. Except he wrote two. I was just being silly. <laughs> we accept first answers only. Exactly. <laughs> first answers. I'm just gonna stop hundred percent. <laughs> what is Chandler's last name from the sitcom Friends? Oh! Do you actually yes. know? Yes. Is it? No, don't let Zoe see. I literally don't have an answer. Chandler. <laughs> I know his life or partner. Surely, I think I know. <laughs> Chandler Bing. That is correct. Yeah! So Woo! Nick is off to a flyer. Okay. Some would think Zoe's sleeping. I don't know. These are bad questions. Oh, paper as well. right. Zoe, this one's for you. Okay, is it about netball? It's actually for both. Okay. <laughs> Name the three primary colours. <laughs> I'm doing primary school teaching. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you figure it out first. I know the, I know the secondary colours. What colours make those colours? Nick's writing a lot. It's you said three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Answers, please. So red, red, yellow, blue. orange. Wait. Red, yellow, red, orange. Red, yellow is correct. Orange is not. Is it green? Blue and red are correct. Green is not. So. Oh, we got two what each. What's that? Two thirds each. Wait, what was correct? Red. And blue. Green. I was going to do green, but I was actually not. <laughs> Can we color? just take a moment? Nick is correcting his work. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Nick. How did I fracture my left wrist? You, Alec. Me, Alec Cameron. And I fractured my left wrist. How did I fracture my left wrist? <laughs> just going to throw it out there, too. Throw it out there. Make sure you throw it. Okay, three, two, one. Motorbike. So I can confirm that Nick is correct. Woo! <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> How many pairs of wings does a bee have? Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Pairs of wings. Pairs of wings. So one on each side means one, if it's a pair. Have a go. <laughs> it says... <laughs> 
Listen to the question. A pear. A pear is two. <laughs> I'm just going to take a stab in the dark. Is that what it's called? Is that what you said? Stab in the dark. Stab in the dark. Yes. Depends what you're trying to say. We've got two. Two and what? Two. So I can confirm that Nick is correct <laughs> to her. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, Zoe, come on. You can get this one. Surely. Is that an apple? I can get it. How many weeks are there in a year? You're a primary school teacher, surely. Surely. Please. Please. Uh, hey. 52. Wait, I can confirm that both are correct. Can he get it wrong? <laughs> How many AFL teams oh. are there? Oh. <laughs> Starts counting the ball. I could not tell you. Nick? I don't watch football. Football. Okay, football. Can I have Three, two, one, sixteen. Nineteen. Are we going closest or just no? Just no. We're both there are eighteen. Yeah, I thought there was eighteen. <laughs> I counted thirteen, so <laughs> sixteen was a good guess. Alright. What is the highest mountain on earth? Oh, I don't know the name, I've forgotten. Are you serious? Yeah, I've literally forgotten. Can I give her a point? Surely. Let's ask me for mount. Oh well, I know that. I know it's a mount so... Oh I know! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the movie, but some of you have me. Is it? No, it's not that. That's the wrong one. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yes, both are correct. What ATAR score did I get? Oh. Closest answer wins. Oh. Why are there questions about Alec? This is so good. Because <laughs> you should know me, Zoe. I don't even know what ATAR I got anymore. <laughs> well, mine was a year after you. I feel like you probably did better than me. Three, Answers. two, one, sixty-four. <gasps> Oh, I didn't Zoe was closer. Oh, okay, what, what, was it? what was it? What was it? 59. What oh my god! Wait, we can't do oh. that. <laughs> what are the first three words in the Bible? I don't know if this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, you are both correct. Can I get double points and he gets single? <laughs> no. How did I fracture my back? Oh, you're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. Do we get points for um, There's three the questions about Ali. The yeah. location as well. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do the same as last time. <laughs> <laughs> we good? Three, two, one. Trampoline, that jump crazy. Yes, correct. It was a trampoline. This is like, this is, this is just not fair. What actress played Katniss Everdeen in The oh, Hunger Games? I've got no idea. <laughs> Don't ask me about movies. What can we that? ask you about? <laughs> that <ball>. Hold up. <laughs> I'm just gonna wing it, whatever. Ready, steady, go. <gasps> we both did Jennifer Lawrence. You are both correct. Hey! <laughs> okay, so it's not J-Lo. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's J-Lo. <laughs> How many eyelids does a duck have? They have more than one. Oh wait, my chickens do too. <laughs> they might only have one. <laughs> three, two, one, two. Zero. Three. Oh. Three. Since when did they How have wait, three? What do you mean they have eyelids? How am I supposed to blink? Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to steal the point because God. she got closest to. Because she's losing. I feel know? sorry for her. We'll give her a point. <laughs> Finish the lyric. Oh, okay. You should have done more of these. Alright, uh, now I've got a picture it in my head. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we'll still have each other. Go. This is so easy. Wait, can you sing that again? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, once only. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we'll still have each other. Oh, no. Just give, <laughs> just give it a point. Really? I've got nothing. You can stand under my umbrella. I love, I love. Eh, eh, eh. Yes, Zoe is correct. I think I should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, You get eight, one eight, point. Nine, ten, Eleven <laughs> points for that one. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our quiz. And I win. That means you lose. I still think it was rigged. <laughs> Oh, really?
<laughs> yeah. 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 Don't step on that. <laughs> okay, so we have crushed tomato and beans here. That's and gross. I <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this to myself because social distancing and they can't do it to me, so And yeah. because you lost. And because I'm great. Okay. Not Can you count me down? Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. No. All right, we'll count from 20. <laughs> 19, 19, 18, 18 17, 17, 16, 16 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, why would you even do that? <laughs> I hate beans. <laughs> <laughs> so that is how you do not play. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Um, he's obviously smarter than a fifth grader. I'm not. Um, <laughs> but now we have the amazing James talking about self-control and patience. So enjoy his message. Good evening to my fellow quarantine partners. My name is James and welcome to week three of our theme, Fruits of the Spirit. Tonight I'm going to be bringing you a challenge of the message of patience and self-control. But first I just want us to pray. Heavenly Father, I ask for those who are watching and even listening to have a quiet and clear mindset in this moment where the world is filled with distractions and pressures. Heavenly Father, I ask that you empower and draw attention to tonight's message as it may awaken a spiritual awareness to patience and self-control. Heavenly Father, I ask that you mentor us in how we can use these gifts in our lives. Allow us to be mindful of our actions and how we speak to each other whether it's through gentleness in our attitudes or annoyance through our voices. And in Jesus' name we say, Amen. So patience and self-control. It's a big deal in having to sit and deal with the things and even people within the moment of trying not to burst out into anger. Both patience and self-control are the duo where both these gifts create a God-given display through all and through any and all difficult circumstances. I want to refer to the Google Dictionary um, on patience, and it says the capacity to accept or tolerate problems, delay, or suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. But if we look into the Biblical Dictionary, it says the capacity to remain self-controlled despite difficult circumstances or actions by others that might be expected to cause anger or upset. What this means is that, some, is that someone who has the patience can tolerate and handle things without having the need to get angry or upset over a particular problem. It goes the same way with self-control, but at an angle where the person is able to control their impulses meaning they can hold the temptation of wanting to get angry and or all upset over something. Both of these work together as both ways where they can be patient, but in ways where one can choose to not, um, not feel tempted or pressured by their emotions, except they're neutral in the agreement, but, and they're okay with it. They're just waiting for a moment where they can step in. Where self-control comes in where you have to control your emotions um, and you are able to control them and understand that I do not need to burst out in, in anger or sadness or being annoyed. Um, and I want to refer to Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28. Like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self-control. The fruit patience teaches us to maintain the act of kindness, tolerance, and withhold the means to not explode in emotions, like I just said. And the fruit of self-control provides a support and ability to refrain 
what we allow to affect us emotionally, physically, and spiritually. I want to refer to the scriptures of Galatians 5 verse 22 to 26. And I'm going to be reading from an IV version where Paul is speaking to the people of South Galatia um, as he testifies um, how the Holy Spirit is used as a tool in our everyday lives given to us through Jesus. And it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ, excuse me, have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying of each other. I like to think that these two spiritual fruits are equally important and work together in all areas of our lives, especially with ministry or even work, healing, but most importantly, creating relationships. Having that long-term persistence on yourself and for the person ahead of you. Why? Because God is very patient and self-controlled whenever we do things that are out, annoyingly out there. Furthermore, Jesus would have done this very same thing, but he would have had a very more impulsives but he, in wanting to yell at us, but he didn't. Well, there would have been some times where he did, but he had his reasons and... Like uh, we knew, when you want to uh, burst out and yelling at everyone and what they're doing, but most of the time he kept his control. He was patient, and he was waiting for the moment, the right time, where he could actually talk to you. These gifts can be self-taught. This can be done by learning to control your emotions, whether it's where whether it is anger, bitterness or even frustration. This can be done by not allowing someone to attack or gain access into your heart. Because you're in charge of your heart, not the person who made you feel a certain way. Learn to protect your heart from things that can, that can make you feel a way because above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. That is from Proverbs 4 verse 23. In that scripture, it's saying that everything we learn and hear is processed through the heart and what we believe to be right whenever it goes into our heart. For example, when someone repeats a certain habit, um, like forgetting to do something or, or a particular thing, and you're getting mad at that person. In that instance, you have allowed that small little habit of having an effect to move in your heart. I want to ask you guys this. What or even who has had an effect on you where you are unable to have the capacity to tolerate and withstand such actions or behaviours? And I want you to ask the Holy Spirit, am I out of line to feel this agitated? The Holy Spirit can teach us to reform and control from our impulses or suppressed feelings. And in using these gifts, we are able to think and share kindness to those who get under our skin. I want us to pray um, in finishing up this message because the idea of learning to understand and control our emotions can be very difficult. But we can master how we process and handle situations through our emotions and through that how are we able to portray and create a god-given display and an image where god is in the midst of an issue and not your emotions in midst of the issue so yeah, let's pray Heavenly father i just want i want to thank you so much for allowing us to have this beautiful gift where we're able to have the capacity 
to wait and handle um, problems and issues uh, whether they are emotionally physically or even spiritually and on top of that being able to control our emotions and not outburst them in anger or in fear or in bitterness or whatever type of uh, emotion and feeling that is not of you Heavenly Father, I want to invite you to make this aware for people whether they uh, whether they are not sure if they have struggled to control their emotions or to learn to be patient with people even when they have been so annoying but just to be with them and let them know it's like hey it's okay that you felt this way but it's time that you learn to close your heart in times where problems start to occur and learn to process in yourself and not at the person and in jesus name we say amen
Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> we we will see you at eight p m. No m. What you said p? <laughs> I said m. For <laughs> for small groups. B y e. No. You don't get to say it because you lost. All right. <laughs> okay. Bye. You're not smarter than this, bro.